Hello, and welcome to our tutorial on logging into the Cal State Fullerton Virtual Computing Lab environment. In this tutorial, we're going to go ahead and show you how to log into and use the Campus Virtual Computer Lab. So the first question you may be having is, what exactly is a Virtual Computer Lab, and how does it help me? Cal State Fullerton makes a wide variety of software applications available to our students in order to complete various projects. Normally, in order to use those applications, you would have to add them either installed on your computer or you would have to come to campus and use one of our labs. The Virtual Computer Lab environment allows you to log into a campus workstation from any computer with a high-speed internet connection and use it just as though you were sitting in a campus computer lab. And again, the only thing that's required is a high-speed internet connection. You can see here, I'm actually using the Google Go Chrome browser, but you can use any modern up-to-date browser such as Internet Explorer, Firefox, or Safari. It also doesn't matter which platform you're using. You could be on a Windows computer or a Macintosh computer, and this works equally as well. You can see here, I'm on the campus homepage. And to go to the Virtual Computer Lab, you're going to go ahead and type in VCL fullerton.edu. When you do that, notice there's no www there, it's just vcl.fullerton.edu. You're going to come here and it's going to allow you to log into the Campus Virtual Computing Lab. So you're going to go ahead and select to use your CSUF login and then you're going to go ahead and click proceed to login. You'll come here and this on this screen, you're going to go ahead and enter in your campus username or campus wide ID and your password. So I'll go ahead and enter my information here and then click login. And when I do that, it's going to bring you to the welcome screen for the virtual computing lab. Now, in order to use a campus lab workstation, you have to set up a reservation. There's never any long wait to reserve a campus virtual computer lab station. The only thing you have to wait for is for it to actually be set up. So usually it takes about a minute, doesn't take very long at all. So I'm going to come over here to the left and I'm going to go ahead and click on new reservation. When I do that, you're going to come to this window that allows you to set up your reservation. You need to tell um, the system what applications you wish to use, when you want to use them, and how, you want to, how long you want to use them for. This drop down arrow here will contain the list of all the different applications that you can access. The default is an, an image that has Office 2010 and SPSS 19 on it. But if I click this drop down arrow here, you can see a wide variety of other options tailored for different circumstances. For example, here's an image that has Adobe Dreamweaver and Fireworks on it or another image that has Microsoft Access and Visio on it. Probably the most popular one though is the Office 2010 image. So I'm going to go ahead and select that workstation and I'm going to say I want to use this right now. And you can see the estimated time for it to set up is less than a minute. The final thing that you have to do is decide how long you want to use this lab workstation for. Now, this is an important consideration. The default is one hour here, but you can select up to four hours. I'd always recommend that you select four hours here, even if you think you're only going to be using it for one or two hours, because once the session is about to expire, you're going to get a warning that says you have so long to log out of the system. There's no way to extend the duration of a reservation. You can always go back in and set up another new reservation and continue working, but your current reservation will close out. Once you see that warning, it's very important for you to save anything you're working on and close out. Because after that warning, you won't get any additional warning that the session is about to close. And if it closes and you have not saved changes to either, let's say, a flash drive or your local hard drive, then you would lose those changes. So I've selected four hours here, and then I'm going to go ahead and click Create Reservation. And after a moment, you're going to come to this reservation window, and you have the opportunity to delete the reservation or edit it from this window. 
Now right now it's being the uh, lab station is being set up for you and you can see here that your reservation is pending and the estimated complete time is about a minute. After about a minute you're going to see another window appear here that will allow you to enter into your virtual computer lab environment. And here we are. And again, you can end or edit this reservation. You can no longer edit it once you connect, though. So I'm going to go ahead and click Connect here. And it's going to bring me to this window. It's going to tell me the IP address of the computer that I'm using, as well as my user ID, which should be your campus-wide ID, and your password. You're going to want to write down this password because you're going to need it in the next window. You can't simply copy and paste it. Remember, passwords are case sensitive. Now, in order to log into this virtual campus workstation, you're going to need to set up a remote desktop connection file. So I'm going to go ahead here and click Get RDP, RDP File. When I do that, it's going to download this file. Depending on what browser you're in, you're going to have to go find that file and open it up. In Google Chrome, it gives you a tab right down here at the bottom. In other browsers, such as Internet Explorer or Firefox, it may download this file into your Downloads folder. But regardless of where you download the file to, all you need to do is click on it or double click on it to start up the connection wizard. So I'm going to go ahead here and click right there. And you'll see it brings me up this window. If you don't want this to pop up every time, you can click Don't Ask Me Again. I'm going to go ahead and click Connect here, and then Yes. And it's going to bring me to a screen that's going to now allow me to log into the workstation. So I need to type in the password that it gave me on the previous screen. And you can actually, if I drag this down, you can actually see it right over here. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. and then go ahead and click OK. And again, it may just take a little while for you to log into the station. You'll see the setup is running, and eventually you're going to go ahead and see all your different items here. And I'm going to go ahead and move this over and make my window just a little bit larger and you can see actually I don't have enough room uh, in the video window but if I scroll down here you're going to see there's your windows taskbar and your start menu so I can go ahead and click here on start and go to all programs and look in here and there's Microsoft Office and there's Word, Excel and PowerPoint ready for me to use so I can go ahead and click let's say on Excel here and it will start up that application and allow me to begin to use it. And again, this is just like you're starting a brand new computer. So it's going to ask me for my username here. I can just leave this alone and click OK. And here I am inside of Excel 2010. And again, you're going to have to go through this um, window here. Um, you can just click on Cancel right there. And I'm going to say Don't Make Any Changes. That probably will not come up for you and you'll see the environment that you can begin working in. If you wanted to close this application, again, this is just like you're on a campus workstation. You would come down here to your taskbar, right click, and say close. And now I'm back here on my desktop. If we come here to the start menu, you're going to see again you've got everything you normally can access, including my documents, my recent documents, my picture, so on and so forth. If I click on my documents right now, you're going to see there's really nothing in there. And again, remember this is the My Documents folder that's on the virtual workstation, not the My Documents folder that's actually on your um, computer's hard drive. So when you're saving a file, you need to make sure that you save it onto your actual hard drive. If I come up here and double click on this topmost icon, you're going to see you get the My Computer window open. You're going to see also there's Local Disk C, but again that's the local disk on the remote virtual machine that you're working with. 
your hard drive is actually right here. You can see it's C on whatever your computer name is. And this would be your CD drive on your computer. If you were to insert a flash drive, it would also appear here. So remember, don't save something into your My Documents folder. Save it either onto your hard drive or save it into a flash drive and then later copy it over onto your computer. And remember, once the dialog box comes up warning you that your session is about to end, you need to immediately save whatever it is you're working on and then log out of the system. So that's all there is to logging into and accessing applications in the Virtual Computer Lab environment. If you have any questions about this, you can contact the Campus Help Desk at 657-278-7777.